Hey, welcome back everybody. We are here at Benton Falls, uh, Ocoee, uh, Tennessee, Benton, Tennessee kind of area. I am at the trailhead for the Clemmer Trail at the base of this ridge of this mountain. I got the Siskiyou T8 with me today. This is actually the first ride you guys are going to see on this channel with this bike. We'll kind of showcase this a little bit, but um, we are out here. We are starting at the bottom. We're going to ride all the way up to the top. We're going to ride up Clemmer take one of the, um, might be like Hancock, a loop. Um, I'm not familiar with all the names of the loops, but we're just gonna kind of work our way Clemmer up. Uh, we're gonna do a little loop around the top and then coming down Benton Falls Trail. We're gonna see Benton Falls, uh, show you guys that on the video and then work our way back down Clemmer. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be a long ride. Um, the hardest part is gonna be the climb up because it's gonna be several miles up. And we're looking at about 15 to 1700 feet of elevation gain, I'm thinking, um, based on the trail forks. So wish me luck. I probably won't see much video on the way up as expected because we're going to be doing a lot of climbing. But I'll kind of give you guys updates along the way just so you guys can be aware of the trail. This is a trail preview for you guys so you guys can, if you've never been out here, this will give you good expectations of what to see and what you might get yourself into. So uh, let's check out the bike real quick. So here's the Siskiyou T8. Um, I've made a few adjustments. Um, the tires came with the V flow snaps. I switched these out for the Maxxis Dissectors. Uh, they're the Max Terra uh, compound, so they're the lighter weight compound. Just by switching out the tires, going tubeless, that dropped two pounds off this bike, off the total weight. Um, so that's just how much heavier the, the V flow tires are. We've also switched out the dropper post for the one up. It's something, it's a dropper post I already had. So we've got that, it's 180 mil travel. And then I got the one up carbon handlebars. So by making just those adjustments, we dropped the bike from 36 and a half pounds and we're down to just about 33, 33 and a half pounds by going tubeless, switching out those tires and doing the handlebars up front. Um, this is the bike, it's really nice. I've gotten a few little short rides in during my lunch breaks, but this will be the first big ride we're going to do. And uh, I'll talk about the bike while we're riding there too. So uh, let's get on the trails. And there's a bunch of yellow jackets all over this parking lot. So I'm going to get out of here, get going on the trail. Hey guys, as you can see, I'm looking a little rough right now. Been making this climb up Clemmer. We are about 2.4 miles in. I'm pretty sure I've been in zone four heart rate this whole time. Um, it's been a long, just grueling climb, a mixture of pedaling and walking. Behind me is our first little creek crossing. It's nothing that bad right now. I'm sure if you come after like some rainy days, I'm sure this would be a lot, a lot worse, but not too bad. A little, I mean, a little puddle there will come through. We're still working our way up, so we're still going that way. Kind of see behind me a little bit of what this trail looks like. I haven't shown much of the climbing because it's just been long and boring and haven't really wanted to talk just so I can keep my head down, control my breathing a little bit. But we're gonna be going down this trail, so you'll see what this trail's like, just going the opposite direction. But this is the trail we came up. If you can shuttle this, this is probably why it's taken so long for me to actually get out here and do this trail is because I've always wanted to just shuttle this, park at the top where the little lake is. I believe there's even bathrooms up there. Uh, maybe even a campground, I'm not sure. I've only been here a few times just to hike to Benton Falls, but we start at the top of the mountain. For reference, driving up to the top, taking the road, I think takes 25 minutes. So it's taking a bit longer. So far, we're about 35 minutes in on this climb. We're 2.3 miles, 2.4 miles up. I believe four and a half to five miles is kind of where we're going. So I'm about halfway up. Got another 35 to 40 minutes of this climbing. So we just passed that creek crossing. And the trail does get a little bit better right here. I hope that makes up some ground. I'm just on my slow climbing there. So this trail is, you know, it's a single track trail. It's very overgrown on the sides. Um, I would try to stick to the trail as much as possible because sometimes there's some really large uh, rocks just like right off the side kind of hidden in the grass. So. You don't want to run into any of that blindly. Also, this trail is like very, got some very narrow like corridors. 
just between all the uh, the overhang and just all the the plant life growing up around it. I've got my suspension locked out for the climb, so right now it feels like super rough. But this bike has been climbing really well. Really enjoying the the T8. You know, if you guys remember, I had the Enduro model, the N7. They're actually going to be redoing that that bike here this year, and that should be a fully revamped, fixing a lot of the issues and complaints that people have had with the bike. And that should be releasing out either end of this year or first month of next year, first quarter of next year. And I think that'll be a really fun bike to have once they've made the adjustments. I feel like I can really push this bike downhill, which is what you guys are gonna see here. This Clemmer Trail is virtually a four and a half mile downhill. And um, lots of tech on this trail. So you guys will get to see me kind of push this trail, this trail bike a little bit. It's got 140, 135 suspension travel, front and back. And it pedals really, really well. All right, so here's a cross hill split here. I'm gonna stay right here. I think. <laughs> so, I was originally planning to kind of go out this direction. This thing goes out around and then loops and then comes back on Benton Falls Trail. But um, this climb's taking me a while, losing some energy. So I think I'm just gonna take Benton Falls Trail, 1.7 miles that way. And we're gonna go up, we're gonna see Benton Falls, go down, get some pics, get some video there. And then we'll turn around and come down this for a long, fast, uh, downhill bomb run. So let's keep going. But yeah, this bike pedals really well. I feel that, uh, I mean, it is a 29er. And since uh, getting the 29er, like, I'm glad I got it. I've had a 27.5 like forever and was really nervous about the 29 inch wheels, but really glad I did. I don't feel any hindrance going from 27 to and a half to 29. Like I don't feel like anything like, man, my 27.5 was much better or I felt this much or, you know, nothing like that. And it rolls way better, it rolls over all these roots and everything. I've been setting PRs on almost every run I've had with these bikes from Polygon. All right, so here another intersection here. This is the Benton Fall we're still on Clemmer. So this top half of the trail of Clemmer has been super nice to climb. Really easy and I can see why it's rated a green trail. But the bottom half that wasn't recorded, I would consider that more of a black trail. And you guys will see once we go down. But here's another intersection. That's the Hancock loop uh, that I talked about wanting to do. It would have brought me around um, it might have been around the same distance, might have been, a, I think it was a little bit more, maybe another half mile to a mile added onto the loop. But we're going to take this, we're following Benton Falls Trail, like that's the direction we're going to. We're still on, on Clemmer, but we're about 0.3 miles from the Benton Falls Trail. And that's the trail that you can take up to the top trailhead, the trailhead at the top of this mountain. And there's that lake and some bathrooms and and such up there. So back on the climb. Here we are. Just came around this corner. This big flat rock. Take this down. This is how we get down to to Benton Falls. It's easy to miss it this way because the signs right on this side of this uh, of this post here. This isn't really a trail to ride down. See if we can make it down some anyways.
<laughs> All right. Probably would have been good if I just released the brake a little bit and, and gone, but this is a rough trail. Beyond my skill level to try to ride. Here it is. We made it. Hey guys, we made it to Baton Falls. This is a pretty cool trail, pretty cool waterfall. Usually we'll hike from the top, I think I mentioned that. It's a pretty easy hike down here when you park at the top. And uh, this is actually, I would say this is a l like little water for what I'm used to seeing here at Benton Falls. Anyways, this is pretty cool. It's quiet, nobody out here today. Siskiyou T8 running like a champ. I realized on some of the spots, I probably should have checked my uh, air suspension on the fork and shock. It seemed pretty soft in some of these areas, so hopefully I get down okay. It's not too bad, but we're gonna get back on the trail back down. So now you guys can see the downhill of this trail and let's just rip it and uh, stay safe. It is pretty technical. There's no, these trails aren't like maintained with anything, so it's gonna be rocky, it's gonna be rough. And there's some really low, low hanging like branches and corridors. I'm gonna have to really like duck and weave around. So we're gonna have some fun. It took me about an hour to get up here uh, from the base, which I'm surprised about. Uh, probably won't take more than 20 minutes, maybe 25 minutes at most. I'm taking breaks to get down. So let's get to it. Let's have some fun. Hopefully, I got all the uh, spider webs out on the way on the way up here. It's about 57. Just trying to see about how long it's going to take. One of the water crossings. I get my suspension open back up. Drop that seat. I'm going left here. Another water crossing. This is just kind of a nice rolling part of the trail. Nice smooth trail so far on Trail Forks. This is a green trail. And when you're riding this part of the trail, you understand why it's a green. Nothing technically difficult. You get a few rocks and stuff here and there, but nothing bad. Once we get about halfway down, we're gonna cross a bridge, I believe. And then I would definitely want to consider it a blue trail for sure. Around here, you could even make the argument for a black that it's, since this is just like a public trail, I'd want it to be overrated than underrated. So that way a beginner mountain biker doesn't come out here and be like, oh, it's a green trail. This should be fun, but it could give you a false like confidence going into it because it's really rocky really technical near the bottom and this is really narrow but it's really fun this uh Sisky t8 it is a phenomenal bike. Retails at 2400. This is the size large 29er. You can fit a full 210 millimeter dropper from one up on this and slam it all the way down. Oh, geez. <laughs> so if you've got longer legs and uh, you want that long dropper post, that combination works great. 
if you're new to the channel you uh, don't know that I'm an affiliate for bikes online which sells polygon bikes here in the USA and they are a phenomenal bike especially for like the value when I mean, you're getting great quality parts and they put the money in key areas like your suspension components your brakes the drivetrain is like mid-range for budget bikes and uh this is a phenomenal full suspension trail bike at $2,400 Fox suspension front and back and uh yeah i'm an affiliate for them and if you are interested in any bike from bikes online if you use my link in the description to make your purchase it significantly helps this channel and my family as we continue to grow and uh, be profitable here and continue making these videos for you guys these trail signs when we're going down in this direction you're going to follow the highway 30 signs or the clemmer trailhead either one of those a few muddy spots so i believe here's the bridge so we're going down we're taking this to the left there's a tree that's down right up here whoa yeah it's crazy how fast we got to this spot when i know how long it took climbing <laughs> Nice. Here's where we start to get into uh, more of the fun run. <laughs> so I hope you guys get a good view of it. Uh, Duck my head under these trails here. Yeah. All right. This bike is eating it up. We are flying. Oh, which line? <laughs> Straight to the center, I guess. <laughs> Man, this bike. It's just tearing this up. Woo! <laughs> Drifting a little bit back there. Nice. This is a fun trail. Let's see if we can get some air off here. Just remember to get your heels down and get in that attack position. I could probably pedal these straights just to get some more speed, but I'm just coasting here. Got a nice comfortable speed going. Wow, we're already at the bottom here. <laughs> it's uh... Not yet, it's up here. 
There's this uh, break off right here. It's the second one when you come down. Uh, parking right there, yep. It's crazy how long it took us to get up there and how fast it took to get down. Thanks for watching, guys. Had a blast out there with you. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and the content. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, share with your friends. Oh, appreciate you all. And we made it.